Hello, Wit Shavers! Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If this is your first time watching, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button today. So what are we doing on the Soap Thing Project? Well, we haven't done a top five or a top 10 video in a while, so we're gonna do one here today. I have five shaving soaps sitting in front of me that represent artisans that impressed me the most in 2021. These are artisans that I had never tried before prior to 2021. My expectations were low. I didn't expect them to be very impressive. But then with each one of them, when I got it into my den and I tried it for the first time, I was just blown away for some reason or another. So we're not going to wait any longer. Let's dive headfirst into my top five greatest surprises of 2021. Now this list is going to be in order of precedence, with number one being the absolute greatest surprise of 2021. But number five is 345 Soap Company, and this one in particular is Skinny Dippin', which is their unscented soap. And I have been using the Hendrix Classics & Company scent oils to scent this soap. Now what was such a pleasant surprise about this one was the performance for the price. This is $16.95 for 5.8 ounces. So for $3 more, you're getting the same amount of soap that you would for a $13.95 Shannon's. They both have 5.8 ounces, but in my opinion, you're getting more than $10 more in terms of quality. This soap, I can't believe I'm saying this, but they could charge $25, $26 for this, and I would probably still pay it. It's that good. This soap has beef tallow, donkey milk, camel milk, goat milk. It's also got cocum butter and lanolin in it. There's a lot of high quality ingredients in this soap. Fantastic performance, a big surprise in terms of performance for me. So 345 Soap Company. At number four, we have Angora Soaps, and more specifically this one, High Roller. And the reason this one impressed me so much was the scent, because I'll, I'll tell you what, Pete over at Angora Soaps, that man can scent a soap. I mean, he really he knows what he's doing. So this soap is High Roller, and it is a leather and floral scent that is a dupe of Tom Ford Ombre Leather. And I gotta tell you, I don't know how he did it, but this is so close to Tom Ford Ombre Leather, it's scary. Trust me, I know. Now the performance on this, for those who are curious, is average. It performs about like a Sterling soap or a Shannon soap. We got beef tallow, cocum butter, glycerin, lanolin, and shea butter in this one. It's a good performer. There's nothing to write home about in terms of performance, but the scent, my God, was Pete cooking with gas when he made this. Okay, we're in the top three, and number three is Southern Witchcrafts. And this one just happens to be Fougere Nemeta. The scent is not important. What makes this so impressive was the performance. This is another performance banger where the lather quality just blew me away. And here's the funny thing about it. This is deceptively high performing. There isn't much in it that is worthy of no. There's shea butter, there's coconut oil, there's jojoba oil, there's glycerin. That's, that's about it in this soap. Um, but I don't know what it is. I don't know how they do it or how they get such simple ingredients and put them together. But this is easily one of the best performing vegan soap bases I've ever seen. The performance is just nuts on this. The scent, I could, I could pretty much take it or leave it. This is one of the better ones. Southern Witchcrafts pride themselves in their soaps having a very dark facet to it, at least most of them. A lot of them have these notes of like decay or dirt or mold or mildew or something like that mixed in with other notes to kind of save it from just smelling disgusting. But this one is not a bad one. It's a, it's a fougere. So it's got your stereotypical lavender and geranium that you find in a lot of uh, fougere scents. There's also fig leaf and strawberry. This one's decent. A lot of their soaps have a hard time uh, getting attached to their scents, which is funny because their performance for these is out of this world. At number two, we have Azalea City Suds, and this one just happens to be Jasmine, which, as you might expect, is a jasmine-heavy soap. 
So this is made by Arthur Knowles down in Alabama of Azalea City Suds. And I knew Arthur Knowles before he started this company. So when Arthur Knowles decided to get into the soap making business, he recruited me and a couple others to do beta testing for him. I tested uh, two different versions of his tallow based soap. But I knew Arthur Knowles even before he started getting into soap making. And when he said, hey, I'm going to start making soap, we're going to do shaving soap, my first thought was, oh Christ, another one? Because i got to be perfectly honest with you, I think the artisan shaving soap market is wildly oversaturated. I think there's getting to be so many artisans, it's borderline hysterical. And then, once I started doing beta testing on his soaps, that's when I realized, okay, he's serious. And then I was like, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. And it was. I mean, in two different versions, in the space of several months, he pulled together an amazing quality soap. It's right up there with 345, if not better. This stuff is incredible performing. Now what do we have in it for those who are curious? We got goat's milk, tallow, coconut oil. It's got all the high quality butters, kokum, shea, mango, cocoa butter. It's got glycerin in it. This stuff is really high performing and you will get a lot of high quality lather on it. It's really uh, high fuel efficiency, if you want to call it that. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And I got to tell you, Arthur Knowles did an amazing job making this soap. Azalea City Suds. At number one, we have Denton Magic. Very specifically this one, Bright. And this is another one that is a lot like Southern Witchcrafts. It is deceptively high performing. Uh, there's not a ton of high quality stuff in here that would jump out at you and surprise you. There's shea butter, there's coconut oil, there's glycerin. There's not a ton of high quality stuff that jumps out at you, but the ingredients that are in here really come together extremely well. And then the scent, the scent blew me away too. Lemongrass, citrus, mint, and menthol. You might not think much of that, but I gotta tell you, between the scent and the performance, this soap specifically, Bright, was the most refreshing shave I think I've ever had. You cannot make this up. I expected this to just be a whole lot of nothing, and I got blown so far away it wasn't even funny. This stuff, this, this soap specifically, is incredibly refreshing, very high performing. It's amazing. What else can you say about it? It also helps that it was made in my home state of Michigan, so popularity points for that. Just saying. So there you have it, the greatest surprises of 2021, my top five. So put it in the comments section of the video, hardware, software, shaving soap, razors, blades, brushes, doesn't matter. Put it in the comments section, the greatest surprises you had in 2021. Also, if you're a content creator and you see this video and you want to do a similar top five, well, guess what? You are hereby tagged. So that'll be the video for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, as always, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.